For decades, this enormous power plant has used coal and natural gas to provide electricity to New York City. But now, under the waters of the East River just yards away, a new technology is taking aim at the giant, armed with metal wings. We sort of laughingly refer to it as our Kitty Hawk. Verdant Power is the first company to sell clean energy generated by river tides. Here in the East River, um, we get up to about five knots of current on a really good day. And so at peak current, uh, these generators will be, can produce around 40 these turbines. That's enough to power about 30 houses a year. These windmill-like structures churn underwater with the river's current, pumping electricity through cables that connect to an energy grid on shore. For now, the turbines power the lights in this parking garage and this supermarket on Roosevelt Island. I wish I could get it in my house. We have to pay so much money for, for gas and electricity. That's a great idea. But great ideas take time to develop into working models. At first, Verdant underestimated the river's power, and the blades kept breaking down. Now this third generation is retooled and more durable. We will be filing for a commercial license with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to uh, put in 30 turbines. Now the field has a potential for 300. There's where the MTA, the New York City MTA, has already expressed interest in buying that power. By the end of the year, Verdant plans its biggest project yet. It'll power this entire subway stop. The lights, the escalators, using just turbine power. They dream of the day they'll be able to power these trains using clean technology too, here in New York and around the globe. A lot of the world is water. A lot of the, that water moves all the time, and some of it moves very fast. It's also entirely predictable. Scottish Minister of Environment Michael Russell came to see New York's progress with tidal turbines. Scotland uses a different method to capture energy from waves, and its abundant coastline powers entire communities. It's wonderful to see it in the center of, of one of the great cities of the world. The technology is also catching on in smaller towns. From the coast of Maine to Washington's Puget Sound, alternative energy companies are competing to become serious hydropower players. Now we're off and running, and boy, we're going to run hard. There are about 100 small businesses around the world working on wave and tidal power projects. On the West Coast, Pacific Gas and Electric could soon learn if they'll be allowed to pursue a wave power plant off the Northern California coastline.